benefits and values of due dates, of having something penciled in on a calendar, if you will. Now, while I generally believe that people should have a say and some autonomy and freedom and flexibility in how they get their work accomplished, as long as it's done legally and ethically, I never micromanage people and their departments, the areas that they lead, because I expect them to be leaders in their own right and make sure that their teams are performing according to the newly established standards and expectations. Now, let's just say, if I'm asking for something from one of my direct reports, one of my team members, my colleagues, and I roughly need it within a month, whether it's a report or an executive summary on a particular project that I can then add to for the board or a partner or the president or the CEO or CFO or whomever, right? I will often and frequently ask them, how long do you think this will take? Given your current workload and other responsibilities, what is feasible? What is understandable? What is okay to put as the time for this to be completed. If they say two weeks, as an example, I will almost always give them three, but I will then hold them accountable to that three week due date deliver, deliverable. Because if you don't, sometimes people will take advantage of your kindness and flexibility. And <clears throat> if you set this norm where it's always okay to kick the can down the road, at some point, no one will ever pick that can up and put it where it belongs. It will just be kicked down the road. Many projects and many things coming subsequently that need to be based and grounded in that deliverable will also be further delayed, and therefore, you never get anything done. Something that should have taken two, or you agreed on three, it's now week 10, and we're nowhere near done. And then when they're done, Frequently, they're not of the quality and expectations that was communicated at the beginning when the request was made. So don't be afraid to set due dates. Now, there's always flexibility, there's always freedom, and not everything needs to have a due date because a lot of the things are just ongoing costs of doing business. But when something needs to be produced in a final or near to final state, to be shared with others, consumed with others, whether it's across the states, across the region, across the nation. Make sure that those due dates are met because everything else is, in a way, directly or indirectly, built upon those and it can derail the whole project or the whole initiative because we took six or eight or ten weeks to deliver something that should have been done in three. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And finally, and most importantly, leave your thoughts below this video on the topic I just covered. Have a great day.